there are those who say, even in the face of numerous innovations, that Yamaha isn't moving forward. And while moving the Vector EFI motor into an Apex chassis wasn't groundbreaking last season, Yamaha is responsible for a number of innovations we now take for granted. Overlooking Yamaha's impact isn't just present in the snowmobile world either. Yamaha is largely responsible for the growing side-by-side -side market. They lead the industry with cool graphics, and though others may claim it, Yamaha was the first with power steering. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. I uttered the words power steering on a national snowmobile show. Is anybody's mind churning right now? The question that really begs to be answered is, why not? Well, originally the perceived benefits might be just lightweight steering, but that really wasn't it. Um, we wanted to control steering effort while enabling the precision of the front end. So we wanted a flatter handling sled, but we also wanted a more accurate handling sled. EPS allows us to dynamically change the accuracy and precision of the steering and the handling of the vehicle at the same time. After a day on the trails, I've come to a few of my own conclusions about power steering on a snowmobile. First, this technology will allow you to ride longer and be more comfortable, no matter what kind of riding you're doing. It also calms down the dirty feeling most riders complain about on previous Apex models. On top of power steering, there were a number of other changes made to this sled as well. Quite a number of changes to the engine. I mean, everything from the intake track, the valve, the intake valve angle, the entire exhaust system is new. I guess the biggest change on the exhaust side is the adaptation of XUP, which stands for Exhaust Ultimate Power Valve. XUP essentially allows you to tune the exhaust length and manage the power pulses over a much broader RPM spectrum. To the rider, the benefit is significantly more power and torque at much lower RPM. Visually, the sled has been changed as well. The seat is over an inch higher. The tail section and exhaust exits are all new. The airbox cover gets a new, more aggressive shape, and the side body panels get massaged with design cues borrowed from Yamaha street bikes. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, probably EPS will be the biggest thing that overshadows the sled, and everyone's going to talk about EPS. By no means is that the only element we worked on. You know, it took seven or eight fundamentally different elements to come together cohesively to give you the package you have. It took a new ski. It took new steering geometry. It took a new intake track. It took a new idle speed control module that allowed us to reduce the amount of engine braking. It took X up and it took EPS. All of those technologies combined are what makes this vehicle so much better than the vehicle it replaces. After our short experience with the all-new Yamaha Apex, I think it's pretty clear the boys in blue aren't sitting still. My opinion is that it's this kind of innovation and technology that really keeps the snowmobile industry evolving year after year.